Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long didn't read version of Koreg on Mythic. When Expel Fire goes out, you want to make sure that everyone's spread out. Expel Fire can be dispelled, but it does about the same amount of damage, so it's just best to leave it. Expel Arcane goes on the tanks. It marks your location every half second for 10 seconds. Then every one and a half seconds, that location will explode, dealing damage to anyone within 5 yards of that location. If you get hit by Expel Arcane, you get a short debuff that increases the damage you take by 100%. Koreg throws a Frost Orb that only deals damage when it first hits the ground. After that, it only slows you the closer you are to it. Expel Shadow is is a healing absorption effect that needs to be healed through as fast as possible. Throughout this fight, the boss randomly selects a target and charges at them, leaving a void zone on the ground. You can and should get out of the way of this charge. During this fight, the boss has nullification barrier on him, which absorbs all the magic damage done to him. Every 10 seconds that the barrier is up, he gets a stacking 6% damage increase. To break the barrier, you just have to do a lot of magic damage to him. When you do break it, he runs to the middle of the room to recharge it. At that point, two of your raid members can go in the center of the room and can get the shield as well. The person in the center is going to be taking damage as well as 35% less healing, so you want to make sure to keep them up. Once this person has that barrier, their job is to go around standing in the green swirlies on the ground. If you're standing in this without the barrier, you're going to get one shot. There will always be more green swirlies than there are people with barriers, so you will be taking raid-wide AoE from the ones that aren't being absorbed. People who soak purple swirls will also get mind controlled. When they're mind controlled, they cast forfeit power, which should be interrupted every single time. If it's not interrupted, it takes a part of their shield and gives it to the boss. Anyone who is mind controlled needs to get brought down to about 20% health to be free. Also, when the boss is in the center, he spawns ads throughout his recharge phase. When these adds die, they do a raid-wide AoE unless they are killed inside the void zone. So the easiest strat is to have both your tanks picking up the adds, and then when the boss comes out, take the adds to the void zone and have range switch them and AoE them down. If you get Expel Fell on you, try not to move. If you do move, try to get back to the spot where you initially got the debuff, because when the debuff fades, it creates a line of fire from where you got the debuff to where it faded. Offensives are best used when he goes into the middle to recharge. Defensives can be used as needed. It may be best to save them for something such as Expel Shadow or if you're a Soaker going in the middle. That was a too long, didn't need version of Koreg on Mythic. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a terrific day.